Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem 157 of chapter 4. Determine the equivalent resultant force and couple moment at point O. So we want to find the equivalent load and moment about point O. So first we have to find the resultant force for this distributed loading. We need to find FR. And we know for a distributed loading, FR is simply the area under the curve for a WDX 0 to 3. Here our W, the intensity, is x cubed over 3, dx 0 to 3. So if I take integration, that would be x to the fourth. 4 times 3, that would be 12, 0 to 3. So if I plug in the value... I will find FR to be 6.75 kN. And if I want to find the location of X, FR, which is X bar, again, based on the definition, in the denominator, I have W times X dx from 0 to 3 because of the length, W dx. We already found this W dx here, which is simply FR. So I don't need to calculate it again. I just replace it here. X bar. The numerator. W is X cubed over 3. So if I multiply by X. Would be X to the 4th over 3. DX. And FR is 6.75 kN. Take integration of the numerator. So X to the 5th. 3 times 5 would be 15 from 0 to 3. And I have 6.75 here. So x bar will be 2.4 meter. But you have to pay attention. The problem is not done here. So that's true that we found the resultant force and the location of the resultant force. But let's read the problem again. The problem is asking for the equivalent resultant force and couple moment at point O. So we need to find the equivalent based on the point that the problem is asking. So let's see what we have now so far. We have FR, which is 6.75. And we know where it's acting. This distance is 2.4 meter. But we want to find the load at point O. What would be this FR? Or let's, I'm going to call it FR prime. So it would be different from what we earlier uh, defined. And a moment at point O. What would be the equivalent? Moment and the force. So this F. For these two beams to be the same, the forces, summation of forces on each side should be the same, and summation of moment on each side must be the same. But what would be the summation of forces here? Here would be 6.75, and here FR prime. So FR prime is 6.75, so it really doesn't matter for the force. But moving the force, this distance is going to create a moment for us. Because we have a higher moment arm. So if you're replacing it, we have to make up for that with assigning a moment. So the two moments should be the same. And we can take a moment about any point. But it's much easier to take a moment about point O because then I get rid of the moment of this force. So let's find a moment about point O for each beam. Uh, for the beam on the left, I have 6.75, uh, and this moment arm is 0.6 meter. It's creating a counterclockwise moment, so it's, the value would be positive. So I will have 6.75, moment arm 0.6, and for the right side, the force is not creating a moment about point O because there is no moment R. The only moment that I have is MO. 
So here I can directly find MO to be 4.05 kilonewton meter. So that's the moment acting at point O, and that's the force. So the force was the same regardless of where we want to place it in terms of magnitude. But when we change the location of force, we are changing the moment of the system. Because moment is the force multiplied by the moment arm. So if the moment arm changes, we have to make up with for that. And then we made up with for that change with adding a moment to make the two beams equivalent.